Hi there! In this video I'd like to describe how to copy and edit an existing Desmos activity. I'm going to use the activity Parabola Slalom. To copy and edit the activity, if you go to the main activity page and then choose these three dots, one of the options is to copy and edit. So if you select that, Let me just preview the activity quickly to show what we can do with it. The idea is to create parabolas that pass through the gates of the slalom, pairs of points on the graph. And the first two screens just involve dragging points on the parabola to affect you know, changes and, and have the parabola pass through different gates. But then after that, the students are asked to engage with formulas to draw the parabolas. So one thing that might come to mind for this activity, you might want to remind students of what the formulas look like. So we could add a new slide. So let me close the preview. I might want to add a new screen after those first two warm-ups to remind students of the formulas that they could use when they describe parabolas. So to do that, I'm going to hit the plus sign here. I'm going to add a note and a table. And in the note, I'll just say something like, recall the various forms of a quadratic function. And in the table, I can add two columns. The first column is going to describe various forms. I'm going to format that column as text and just describe standard form, intercept form, and vertex form. And then in the second column, I'm going to title this column equation and type formulas for these various forms. So standard form, y equals ax squared plus bx plus c intercept form i'll describe as y equals a times x minus p in parentheses and x minus q in parentheses and then vertex form y equals a x minus h squared plus k so now if we go back to the preview we can see what our screen looks like, and we can see that it follows those two warm-up screens before we get to the screen that requires students to work with a formula. A more interesting change, perhaps, after these initial challenge screens, there's a reflection screen, and after that, I'd like to add a checkpoint. So I'm going to click the plus sign again to add a screen here. I'm going to title it Checkpoint, and this is going to have a table that will inform the student whether or not they got the challenges correct. It'll sort of summarize those first three challenges. So again, I'm going to use a note and a table. In the note, I'm just going to say, you know, use the table to check your work, go back, and think more about the challenges if needed. And then in the table, I'm going to list the challenge numbers. So challenge number one, and again, I want to format these as text. Challenge number two and challenge number three. And then in the second column, I'm going to give the students some information about whether they correctly solved the challenge or not. And so for this, I'm going to go into the computation layer. To do that, I'm going to click on this little icon. And I'm going to affect the cell content with the cell content sync. So to change the cell content in the second column and the first row, I'm going to do row 1, column 2. And I'm going to use a when otherwise structure. But in order to set up that when otherwise structure, I want to reference the challenges. So let me click done here uh, for now. 
and go back to the first challenge screen, screen four. And I want to access this input computation layer script and change that a little bit. So I can see there's some text here. I can see this command with the sync correct that signals in the dashboard when the student has correctly achieved that challenge. I'm going to create a variable, a Boolean variable called isCorrect based on that, that I can reference then later on in my, in my checkpoint table. So the isCorrect variable is going to match the correct sync for this input, and it will allow us to give some feedback to the student. So let me copy this because we're going to do something very similar in the other challenges. If I go to challenge two and to the computation layer for that input, I see a very similar correct sync there. I'm just going to change this to graph C2, uh, C2 graph. And then similarly for challenge three in the input, I'm going to create a similar is correct variable, but change this to C3 graph to reference the graph on this screen. And then going back to the checkpoint, in the computation layer for the table, I'm going to reference that C1 input dot script dot is correct. So when that's true, we'll have the content of the cell report to the student mission accomplished. And if it's not true, we'll say keep trying. So now let me copy this for the other rows. So for row two, column two, I'm going to reference C2 input in a similar way. And for row three, column two, we'll reference the C3 input. So there's one more thing I need to do. I want to set this column to format as text as well. So now if I go to the preview, I can see initially, keep trying, we, we haven't completed the challenges yet. But if I go back to challenge three, for example, and enter in a parabola, perhaps using intercept form. I'm going to place an intercept at 1 and the other x-intercept at 2 with the factors x minus 1 and x minus 2. And if we try that, it works. It passes through both gates. And if I go back to my checkpoint table, I can see mission accomplished for that third row. So one last tip that might be useful when you're editing an existing activity, if you click on this icon here, you can copy a screen. And so you can do this from any activity and pull it in to whatever you're working on. So you can compile different screens from different activities by copying the screen there. And then if I go back to my activity, I can hit Control V to paste that screen into my new activity. So notice it's the same as the screen before, C4 input, C4 input. So we would want to then, if I'm sort of trying to redo and create a new screen, I'd want to change these names so it doesn't cause issues with identifying the components. So actually, let me delete this copied screen. And to complete this adjusted activity, I'm going to publish it. And it's been added to my list of custom activities. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.